Come on in, come on in. Hey, I ain't even know y'all was at the damn door. Yes, it's another terrific hieroglyphic. Right now, you're chilling with your brother, Mr. Mecca, brother Hiram Hakeem. Hey, listen, man, before we go anywhere, I need you to know if you're trying to promote you and your style, because it's about you, Akron. It's about you, Blackron, to be specific, to give us a call if you're trying to promote you and your style. 330 937 2632. That number again, what's smooth? 330-937. He's directing this, man. 937-2632. He's being quiet because he's doing what he's doing. That's my brother from another mother, for real. Listen, uh, we're going to talk about critical race theory. I know, I know, I know. Our people have a strong issue about what that's about. But we're going to talk about critical race theory and what that's really about. We're going to break it down to its very last compound. So you, walking down Copley, you walking around Arlington, you in the Rosemary's, you on the cop, on the top of the hill that's real, I know what the hell they talking about when they talk about you. Y'all better film me before they kill me. It's the hieroglyphics. My God, man, look who I ran into this early in the morning. What's up, Levi? Early bird gets the worm. You know how we do it, baby. Tell them what we're doing later on today. Hey, later on, man, we're going to be over at the event center right out there on East Market Street. You guys got to come out. It's a free event. It's a cancer awareness event. We're going to try to impact some lives with testimonies, free jazz, music. We got the DJs, Easy Money in the house, uh, VJ the DJ. Uh, just amazing people going to be coming out here. So it's a free event. Come out and support. Have some fun. Great weather right here, man. I appreciate Twin seeing you. What's that? What's that you got in the, in the truck, son? Um, Let me show you a treat, buddy. Okay, let's see what's going on, man. Yeah, so we're going to have some amazing... Uh, Raffles going on tomorrow. I mean, all kinds of great gift baskets are going to be given out. Just come on out and support, you know, people uh, giving things out to donate to this organization here, just giving this function here. So uh, that's what's up. You guys, come on out and support. 18 Auto Sales, uh, 1544 is who donated this whole function to make it possible for people to be inspired by this event. Hey, man, if somebody want to um, vend, is it too late later on? Somebody call you or me today, and they come with a little couple of dollars, can they at least... Uh, pop a table up or is it too late? No, it's never too late, buddy. We're all about helping make people out. So if we got some vendors, if you want to still be a vendor for this event, just give me a call in advance here soon today and uh, come on down and uh, we'll get you set up because we want whatever you're working with at your facility, at your job, we want to be able to support the community so people can know. It's all about awareness right now. So that's one more time, 5 o'clock today. Let's talk about it one more time. 5 p.m. We have a cancer awareness event and it's free. We have the jazz, the DJs, free uh, soul food menu, a real menu. We're going to be boogieing too now. Absolutely. We got to get out there and stay in shape a little bit, so have some fun. Hey, man, have some fun and get something done. No doubt. There you go. Yes, sir. Man, I catch you, like I said before, this is the hieroglyphics, and you know, here we break down different things to give you a better understanding of what's really going on and what people are saying in the news and all over the place, you know, to educate you, right? So today we're going to talk about critical race theory critical race theory i'm sitting here with the lovely very beautiful char johnson and hey, give us that definition critical race theory is a cross -dis disciplinary intellectual and social movement of civil rights scholars and activists who seek to examine the intersection of race and law in the United States and to challenge mainstream American liberal approaches to racial justice. All right. Um, so when we talk about critical race theory, a lot of stuff comes out. What she just said is the pure definition of it. But we want to talk about critical race theory and how it relates to us here and specifically how it relates to uh, black America. OK, let me give you a scenario that's happening. And this is nine times out of ten is what you're hearing. And I'm talking to my people that's in my community that want to know what the hell is this is all about. This is what's going on. So check this out. Eurocentric America, that means white America, okay, um, are feeling a, a certain kind of way about their history as it pertains to enslaving black folks. 
that's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm gonna keep it a buck. They feel in some kind of way about their history as a result. I mean, their history for enslaving black folks, Eurocentric America, basically white folks. Okay. Now, what am, what are you saying, brother? Hyde? What are you saying? Because that's a strong statement. Well, you ever heard somebody say, "Well, my my for I didn't do that. That was my parents. That was my forefathers. It wasn't me." That's they letting you know they want to disassociate themselves right there in real time about the past, about the history, about American history. Okay. They they telling you it wasn't me. I didn't do that. Even though some say they reaping benefits to this day, direct benefits from the business that was slavery. Okay. So the critical race theory gets a little deeper, but this is what's happening. So your history, as it's told in school, okay, as you grew up listening to your black history in school, even though you was given a very short, uh, 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 edited version of your history, you you was told. Martin Luther King, you was told, hopefully you was told about uh, Frederick Douglass and Rosa Parks. These are the the, the standard non-threatening people that you was educated about, right? Then they tell you a little bit about slavery, right? And then they tell you you from Africa, right? They don't go deep, deep into it. They tell you you from Africa, okay? And uh, the civil rights movement and you a slave. This is what you're getting, okay? Now, since the advent of the information age, this, this, this here computer and all this internet, we're getting more and more insight, okay? Now, I went to a school where they didn't give us anything but those three th topics that I told you, okay? Since, since uh, the critical race theory comes up and people are realizing the history is being taught in school, especially during this uh, post-George Floyd situation, People are trying to educate uh, uh, communities about the African experience. You know, they were saying stuff like, well, let's just see what's going on with the African Americans and let's see if we can relate and benefit. Let's understand that black lives do matter. Let's hear what their gripes are. Let's hear why they feel that way when a cop pull up behind them as they driving. Why do they feel funny when, when you walk, when they walk in shop and when they shopping and somebody is following them? Why do they feel funny? How come they always like the women got an attitude all the time? You know, this, they wanted to know why okay and then when you find out why uh some people call it post-traumatic slave syndrome a direct result of being in bondage trapped bound here in america okay and when they know these things and they hear what was being taught they get afraid oh my gosh i want to disassociate myself from what happened to the african-american okay so much so they don't want none of that to be taught in school to their kids. You see signs, they're picketing, the, 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 the people out there picketing, talk about we don't want none of that history being taught in our schools. We don't want none of it because you're teaching hate, is what they call it, hate, no, it's history. It's history. And yes, you can say it wasn't you, I didn't do it per se, because you didn't, but it's your history. It's American history. So to literally step in front of of what has been under wraps to a degree, with the one dimension, with that three dimensions of teaching with the slavery, you from Africa, and the civil rights, that's all they taught. Now they're finding out more stuff. So now they found out that the, the, the European or the white man here in America is guilty for all the slaves, the lynching. It's a lynch history going on. And all this stuff, they don't want the kids to know or they don't want you to educate the kids. I'm talking about the white kids about that because they say, this is what I saw a sign this lady was um, had out. Let's not teach hate. Let's, let's not teach hate based on the color of skin. This was a white woman with this sign. I said, that is incredible. She said, let's not teach hate by the color. I mean, just simply by saying this lady is white and you should hate her. <clears throat> that's what she's getting from this. Uh, that's her critical race assumption because the kids gonna know that just because they white, they should be hated or they should feel a certain kind of way because of their history. That is hilarious to me to a degree. I understand it, but it's hilarious knowing it's the direct history. It's history, okay? I'm not saying that um, uh, they should feel comfortable, but that's their history. Or they shouldn't be uncomfortable, I said to say, but that's their history. Our history is being up under the foot of that 
uh, shameful act that they that they feel. Because that's by simply saying, I don't want my kids to know, it's trying to say, I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's basically, so don't put that on my kids. Don't fill my kids with that. Let them know that the opportunities are plentiful for everybody. And you know such is not the case. So this is what the whole critical race theory is. It's to break things down, to construct it, to really go in to what's going on here in the wilderness of North America between races, right? Specifically between us, because I'm speaking to black in Ohio. That's what it's about. So when you see these people out here picketing, uh, going off about stuff shouldn't be taught in school, they saying critical race theory shouldn't be taught in, taught in school. That's what they're hearing. But they're really saying, we don't want my white kids to know all the horrific stuff that was done to black people by the hands of their oppressor, which is the Eurocentric European here in America, okay? I can go on. I can go all day about this stuff. But you know what? This is the hieroglyphics. We don't like to uh, bite our tongues on stuff. We like to give you a pure definition of what it is. And this is not opinion. This is not opinion. This is a fact. I'm delivering it like it's my opinion. Y'all better feel me before they kill me. It's the hieroglyphics. <laughs>